Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Chandra Awesome again. In this today's video, we are going to learn about how to use the frames tool in OnShapeCAD software. And I am going to teach you how to work with these frames along with the tutorial. If you are less certain, you might certain. know about roll cages and uh, off road vehicles under uh, manufactured by the group of students who are interested to perform to conduct the races. Uh, here you can also know many of the roll gauge designs are available. So uh, I also participated in the roll gauge in the Baha event in, two in my college time. So today I am going to teach you how to design this roll gauge using two frames. I just selected the simple roll gauge design so it might be useful for you and you can can also understand where to work with this frame tools and also the design so let's jump into the tutorial and let's le learn about it how to work with that so first of all let's first create the base and then we create this middle frame and then we we are going to create the top so by using the three plane we are going to join the frame one by one okay let's work with the base it's having a some rectangle and to place the engine inside it so let's work with it okay and get a kind of sketch uh set the top plane so it's better for us and if you want to the same view Let's change the view to this side. So it, it should be good for you. Okay. We we'll select manually. Uh, select the center point rectangle and draw some right rectangle size random. Okay. Now cube dimensions as well you want. Uh, we don't want this much. Let's keep 20. Let's select again the zoom in and uh, okay. Now, do the dimension to give this also light up five, five is enough. What else? Uh, let's give to oh, okay. We are working with the end of right. Let's give again. I think we don't need it, we just give B. I think that much is enough for I just want to make it good. To end, we just give 40 before. I think that much is good. Okay, now we need to add the middle middle frames here. We have four and middle one this one. Let's join them. One, we have four, right? We already get one, two, one, two, and three. Now we need to give dimension to them. How much distance for? Yeah, okay, I'm just giving the random dimension size. So don't take me serious. If you want the vertical designs, you can go for the Kasei Baku. They might not understand how to work with them. The last we need them to do one. So I'll wait and try to find this one. Empty footage. Now let's have some like draw on the base sketch. The next step is need to add this middle frame. You can understand by this it was somewhat angle from here. So let's add the that. So I'll offset that one also, guys. Okay. For that, we need to offset the plane. Uh, some more distance left. Sell the default distance from frame only. Sell the plane. Sell the sketch. Come to the top plane for better movement. For better view. Okay. And this one should. Only stand with this line and 
it should be somewhat more like for example let's do that issue okay and it should be angled from this much right i think down much enough and it should be parallel to this much let's tell this vertical key and we need to give the dimension how much angle it should be let's give 150 degrees and and that's it. We need to move this one. That's much enough. I think it's too much, right? Let's give one one six degrees. Okay, that's good for me. And we need to okay. The corpus key does not have any join. I need to rather help you and head up the frame. So for those we need to offset the plane again. Let's do offset operation again of the plane and it should be more than one twenty five let's give let's give thirty five getting that this much is enough or no we should give at least forty five and it should be good okay now set the plane to again on the top view and set the sketch we need to add a rectangle right it should be inside this so for that we need to send the same plane so we already have the reference so it should be easy for both our phones the head should be equal to this one that's one send with that now keep the dimension to 40 and also give the element it should be right so let's point them with this line also now pick what you we have now is we need to draw the we need to join this vertices by the 3d plane or else if you want you can also add by using sketch so let's now let's add this uh this friend friend functions so because it should be straight parallel to this one so it should be easy for us just select also the front plane or uh, and use the point plane so and select this point and click ok now do select the new plane Come to the front view, zoom it, select the sketch, and join. It should show automatically the vertices. And there are some equals. You can clear the picture out some parallel. So that's why I add the parallel here. I made him just here, okay? Now let's give dimension to D. So let's give 5. Now to the flat partition to both. It's fine enough for all this we can use to I think five is enough, okay? Now click okay. Now it's actually added here. And then we need to we need to do the same here for other side also. How you can do that for simple way. To do that is easy. It's very really easy guys. Uh, right there. So for that, select the offset plane again. Now use the same plane point and search here. Now click OK. Now we don't need to perform any select the plane, click on the sketch. We don't need to perform any dimensions just by using used to click the sketch and it will generate automatically yeah. even with the constraints and uh, see we almost share the front porch and we need to do the the back one for that 
we need to add uh, for the middle band some more distances from like this distance. Let's work with that now. And if you want to join this one, you can do by using the please client also. Next one is we need to add the back one to the middle frames here. So you can copy it easily to do for this side. Okay. So for that we need to offset the plane again. Uh, select the right plane, offset it. Select the plane point and give the plane point to here. And select the new plane again. Uh, and be make sure guys which planes are you selecting or else you will get a one sketch and you need to perform that operation again in the game so you must be sure and not get confused with your planes okay now what i need to do is i need to draw this frame it should be connected to the other frames okay and it should match with this one okay Now, uh, now I need to sell this corner triangle. Yeah, sell this. Okay, we got a point. Yeah. Now we need to fully run by using phase the constructions here. And now what we need to do is we need to do fillet here. How much fillet? I don't know. I don't even know. Okay. As per the showing, so let's give 15. I think it's too much. Let's give 14. Mm -hmm. Let's give 12. Okay, that's working. Do the same to here also. And click the show and come to the right one again. So now we need to from add this one to this vertex. So do the same right there. Also. Now, this is the other stage where one we don't need because when you're working with the frames, the extra stage will generate unwanted frames, so it's difficult for both of those. Okay, click OK. Now, I don't want to do add this here because I will copy that frame or use transform to right there. Okay. Now what we need to do add and other sketches the back side so it should match the middle single frame should match here and the other frames should match here so here we are going to work with the things flying and uh, here we are going to work with the fillet. I am going to show you how does it works okay let's do that one let's do it is the second sketch again Whatever we understood is we need to add some line to the right. So it should be parallel to each other. So I'm going to use the center center rectangle for only creating a line guys. I will show you why I do it here. Because I want the equality. Let's give it 20. This much is enough, right? Now what I'm going to do is and also give dimension from the frame also. I'm just using center. Let's give 60 to 80. We are going to the sketch and underline we don't need this dimension also now we need dimension from this line and on one point to this line this should be 80 right but it's not in copy now we can open the sketch now we can see the difference from now i think it should be somewhat more efficient right because it's not because we can't place the engine right here so let's edit it again and you can send it into 100 that much is enough you want to be you should call it let's click it and give 90 okay so okay that's enough now we need to select so for this you need to perform the thinnest plan here guys so for that set the color tools and set the clearly fit spline click on ok now 
add the vertices one by one so we can get the points and make visible every sketch okay except the first one and do use again the same spline and join the whatever joints we want okay let's go i'm going to skip the all the joinings so you know how to join work with that right i'm searching the vertices and joining them like this so i'm skipping here here you may you want to you need to know about how to work with the this plane okay and we should do this plane again and set the vertices but here i got a straight line and it is asking the curve so how to get achieve that one so that we have a start and end direction see so you might use these directions and you should mention that direction where uh, by selecting the one of the planes so i select the right plane and i want i want that it should be forward like this and give the you to two inch distance that we are taking i want to give here oh, oh my god I'm going to give here two and click on okay. See now we achieve the curve by using three fix line very easily. As you already seen how I perform this curve, I'm going to do the same operation again, or else you can do the mirror operation. It's totally your wish. Sell the vertex, sell the vertex again, and give the starting direction to the right line side. Let's switch them. Yeah. We need to change the way. Yeah. Now it's due to two inches and now we OK. Now you finally successfully drawn the sketch of a roll gauge in Unshape Cat Software. And what we need to do is we need to do the framing. So how to work with the frames? I'm going to show you now. Now we successfully created the roll gauge sketch by using the spines or along with the sketch so far. So now we need to perform the frame operations. For that, first of all, let's hide the spines to get rid of this confusion. Right click on the plane and you can see the option hide all planes. Click on it. So the planes only will get hide but the sketch will remain. So now we need to do 